Police say no charges will be filed against the driver involved in a crash that killed a man. A car struck Ronald Cochran as he walked along Moreland Avenue today. Channel 2's Audrey Washington spoke to a witness about what happened just moments before this crash. And my heart just dropped. Dorothy Word is still in shock. She says Tuesday morning she warned Ronald Cochran to watch out just seconds before a truck hit and killed him right in front of her eyes. And certainly a car was coming, and certainly, you know, he was struck by the car instantly, you know, just instantly. The, tra the car traffic was so heavy. The accident happened here along busy Moreland Avenue. If you look here behind me, you can actually see some of the broken glass from the impact of the crash and some of the markings the investigators left behind on the ground. Everything just kind of happened all at one time. Word is the director of the halfway home where Cochran was staying while he received treatment for a liver condition. She says he has no children or close relatives. Still, she says everyone at the home is devastated. I have tried to keep them back a little bit. You know, so that we can all talk about it together. Police shut down much of Moreland Avenue while they investigated the accident. I'm told the driver stayed at the scene. Word says that driver was hysterical. And the lady got out. She was screaming and hollering. She was crying. So hours after the road reopened, I spotted the truck involved in the crash parked at this restaurant right across the street from the scene. I snapped this picture of the damage to the front of the truck. The man who came to pick it up told me the driver is okay and back home. Police say they will. Not not file any charges in the case. Meanwhile, counselors are at the halfway house to help the other people there cope with the sudden loss. Anytime something happened to one of the family members here, it's it's take a toll on them for a few days. In Southeast Atlanta, Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.